friends. Welcome to Children's Chapel. It is a new year now, 2021, and so we have a new spot for Children's Chapel. I don't know if I like it yet. It remains to be seen. We're going to try it for a couple weeks. We'll see how it goes. This week, we hear from the Gospel of Mark. Now, this is a new gospel that we have not heard from before. And it's, I think, a familiar story that we have heard pretty recently. See if you remember. John the baptizer was in the desert, shouting about being baptized, being forgiven, and turning your life towards God. People from all over came to hear him preach and be baptized in the Jordan River. Wait, please. John wore rough camel's hair and ate grasshoppers and wild honey. He kept pointing to the one who was following him. I am not the one you're looking for, he said. He's coming after me, and he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Get ready for him. Jesus himself came from Galilee to be baptized by John in the river. Just as he was coming out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the Holy Spirit landed on him like a dove. And he heard a voice from the heavens say, You are my son, whom I love so much. I am pleased with you. The Gospel of the Lord. What an exciting time this is. The beginning of a new year. Um, Some people... Um, you'll have to wait until I'm done. Oh, Some people make New Year's resolutions. Do you know what that is? Do you know what a New Year's resolution is? It's uh, oh, what's a resolution? It's something you have to do or you, or you need to do. That's right. Sometimes it's a goal that you have or something healthy that you want to incorporate into your life. Like, like, um, um, I know that, but, but I hope that you wanna, um, and you wanna, um, Winnie the Pooh. In Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you make New Year's resolutions, Elliot? Um, Promise to, promises to yourselves of things that you want to do? Let me think. It, 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 I don't really know how I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Okay. Well, I don't always make a New Year's resolution, but I do come up with a word every year. I come up with a single word that I try and live out through the whole year. So last year, hold on, last year my, name, my word was confidence. I really wanted to have confidence in myself and realize all of the wonderful things that I know how to do. So I tried to be confident for the whole year. Oh, I'm this year, my word is steadiness. I want to be really steady, not crazy, not um, out of control, not worried or anxious, just really steady. So that's what I do for mine. Did you have one you wanted to share? Um, I have a resolution. Okay. So, so guys. So Can mom, you tell it to me quickly? So mom. Yeah. So mom, it, it's what to be can as well focus. I want can to do. Yeah. So next Christmas, I want Santa to bring me. So bring me, bring me, bring me another Christmas. Well, that doesn't sound like a resolution. That sounds like a wish. That's a little different, okay? Uh, Maybe you want to keep your room clean or be a little bit more tidy. Or maybe you want to listen, be a better listener or a better brother or um, sister. A um, mom. Hold on. Whether you make any resolutions or not, it's about trying to be the best person that you can, okay? And that's what the new year offers us is a fresh start. Thank you. Today in our Bible lesson, we read about John the Baptist. He's one of my favorites. He went around the countryside in Judea telling people to turn from their sin and ask God's forgiveness. John baptized them in the River Jordan, and they were baptized to show each other that God had forgiven them and washed them clean. They, God had given them a fresh start at a new life. Jesus himself was baptized by John, and he commanded us to go forth into the world and make disciples, teaching them all that he taught us and baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
So because Jesus commanded it, we still baptize people today. Maybe you've seen a baptism before. Sometimes people get baptized as babies, right? Sometimes they get baptized as kids like you. Sometimes they get baptized as adults like me. And we welcome them into God's family. Um, okay. Do you have something to say about baptism? Um, no. But okay. Can you hold on to it for one minute? My mom said, what does, what does baptize mean? What does baptize mean? That's a great question. So you are um, marked as Christ's own and welcomed into God's family. So when you were baptized, you were real little, you were about this big, right? And mommy and daddy and Auntie M and Uncle Matt all stood around, your godparents, and Dina held you over the baptismal font and put water on your head, right? And she baptized you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What about the rain? The rain? Yeah. There was no rain. It was just a bowl of water, a, a very special bowl with some blessed water that they scooped over your head. Sometimes when you're baptized, um, you get baptized different ways in different churches. Sometimes, like when Mimi was baptized, she got her whole body wet, like in a swimming pool. <laughs> I know. And some people can still go to the Jordan River and get baptized in the river. I know, just like Jesus was. But no matter how people are baptized, it is a fresh start for a new life. Yeah. Amen. All right. Um, you want to help me do the prayers? Um, what is oh, we have to do our creed. Sit down. What do, ready? What is a creed? A creed is a statement of all the things we believe. You ready? We'll do an echo. I believe in God above. I believe. I believe in Jesus love. I believe in Jesus love. I believe in the Spirit too. I believe in our Spirit too. Who comes to show us what to do. Come to show us what to do. I believe that I can be. I can I believe that I can be. Good and true, dear Lord, like thee. Good. Good and true. Lord, like be. Very good. Oh, All my, right. My mind is kind of like to do it now so people will hear me. Yes, you do. All right, you're going to help me with the prayers. I'll say a prayer, and then you say, Lord, hear our prayer. Okay. okay? You have to sit up so they can hear you. We pray for the people of God's whole church, for our bishops, priests, and deacons, and for all who are called to do your work. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the United States and for our president. For other countries of the world and their leaders, may they all work for peace. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for this community, for the people who live and work and go to school here. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the good earth which God has given us. May we help to take care of it. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are sick or sad or lonely or afraid. May we always remember them and be kind. Mm -hmm. We pray for those we hold close to God this day. Who do you pray for today? Um, I pray for our, our, our family. Our family. Does that mean you two and that? Nice. I pray for our grandma, who's not doing so great. Yeah, but yeah. her brother, wait, is he part of our family? Grandma? Yep. So, so I pray pray for grandma too. And then you say, Lord? Lord, do a prayer. Very good. We pray for all people who have died. May we remember that they are with you. Lord, do a prayer. We thank you for our many blessings. Lord, do a prayer. Lord, hear the prayers of your people and strengthen us all to do your will. Amen. Amen. So today, for our activity, we have um, a brainstorming worksheet to help people think of how they're going to live in this new year of 2021. So, I have to get it. So, hold on one second. Okay, here we go. 
So this is the worksheet, and it's attached below, below this video. And here's the year. It says 2021. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are just some way to brainstorm how you're going to live into this new year. Okay. So this is inside school. What's something that you're going to do inside school to have a great year? Um, play. Play? Play, be kind, share more. What, do you, what about play? Dinosaurs. Play dinosaurs. So do you want to learn more about dinosaurs? Yeah, from Dino Dino. Learn? And, and then I can play with them at school. Okay, so I'm going to put learn more about dinosaurs. That's, okay. That's, that's, Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Outside of school, what's something you're going to do this year outside of school? Um, so, so, I, so we don't need to be um, do stuff outside of school. Not outside, like um, outdoors, but maybe at home. What's something at home that you're going to do to have a really good year and be a good person? Um, Some brainstorm ideas might be to be a good listener. I know. Yes. To have fun and enjoy the sun. Okay. <laughs> they run. They do. They do run. So you said, what'd you say? Play and play and enjoy the sun. Okay. Play and and enjoy, enjoy the, the sun. sun. Okay. All right. And then down here it says, I'm excited about. What's one thing you're excited about this year? Um, I can't wait to to, um, to get more presents. Your birthday? Yeah. You're excited about your birthday? My birthday. Okay. Mom, why do you have a little C? Because it's two words. My space birthday. And then here you can draw a picture of yourself about what you look like. Okay. So I'm going to let you do that. There you go. Now you can fill this in with an adult who lives in your house. You could draw pictures too. It doesn't have to be words if you want to draw pictures. Here. But Mom, I'm not really good at that. I think whatever you draw is going to be fantastic. So my friends, I hope you have a fabulous start of 2001, and I look forward to spending this year with you in Children's Chapel. Many blessings. I'm Jordan, and in the class.